Hey everybody, it's Brittany Saturn. And I'm Brian Belcher, and, and welcome, welcome to, to Forest, Forest Life. Life. Bum, 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 bum. So last night was a lot of fun um, when we got to go to that new town. Yeah. And I, but you, you you mentioned this uh, off the off camera, but you always feel bad about your town when you go see a modded town. But I actually feel really uh, good about our that's town. That's not what I said. I mean, I did say that, but I also said, you know what? I really love our town. Yeah, no. I was going to... And I was, I was gonna like, really you love... always feel a little bad after coming back from a modded town. Because yeah. Because it's, it's been modded. Like, you can't do that to your town. But exactly. I really like our town. No, yeah. Our town's... I like it like, a lot. Like, I think we put a lot of work into this. I think it's good. I think it could use more flowers. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> You're right. Let me get on that. <laughs> that's about it. <laughs> Rococo lamp. Don't need that. I need more number lamps. Number lamps. Oh, lost item. Get the of bus course. stop. Well, hey, we can just use today to go talk to all the animals. Yeah, then. we probably should anyway because, like, I talked to Fuchsia and she's like, you haven't talked to me in two weeks. I know, right? And I'm like, I've been here for two weeks. So Ouch. You can also talk to me. So yeah. It's you two could. way street there, buddy. Two way street, Fuchsia. It's a two way street there, buddy. Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> so close to bamboozled. Mm -mm, not today. Not today, Satan. Not today, Satan. <sighs> there it is. Also, now we gotta zero days take since the. We about Satan. Yeah, zero days since we talked about the devil. I wonder how many days we've gone so far that's like not talked about the devil. I don't know. By the way, this is where all of the stuff to dig up is gonna be because there's like no other place in town. Yeah, really. yeah. There's a few places. Well, that's but... good. You just have a simple spot to yeah, dig so up everything. Yeah, so I still everything. have to like work on this area some, but we still have time. We still yeah. have a couple more weeks. So. Yeah. Still have time. Uh, I'm actually really excited uh, about this. <gasps> Reds in town. Reds fight! In town. Fucking finally, Red, give us something I good. Like you're about to yell, fight. <laughs> fight! Like it's just like say, Scott Pilgrim. I think you were trying to say finally, but uh -huh. you also said fight, so. <laughs> All right. God damn it. <laughs> okay, so those are both fakes. Finger guns. Don't know if we have that one. I think we do, though. I think we have this one. <laughs> the fine yeah, painting. Yeah, we have it. The fine painting. I think that... it's always genuine, too. Yeah, but we have it. <laughs> yeah, we have the fine painting. And it is, yes, always genuine. We have that one, too. Yeah. Damn it. Damn it. Fuck you, Red. I, I love I could... the finger guns, but that doesn't mean I need them anymore. I wish I could shake them. Give me some art, Red. Shake them. Well, we barely got our fossils. Yeah, we barely got our fossils. <laughs> you know, the, the art does take a while. Animal Crossing wasn't going to give us the uh, the art no. that fast. Well, Brittany, I, can't, I got something to give you. Okay. National days. National days. Every day is a national something day, and today is no exception. We got a weird one to start off today. Actually, yeah. all of, a couple of these are pretty weird. Yeah. So, first and foremost, today is National Chucky the Notorious Killer Doll Day. What? Yes. Why? There is a national day for Chucky. If you were curious if there's any other national days for other monsters, there's not. Just that's not true. Chucky. There's one more monster, actually. But, um... But that's not today. Today, we're celebrating Chucky, the notorious killer doll. For those who aren't Chucky fans, like me, yeah. you have a pass. All others, get your popcorn and beverages of choice and hit play. That's literally all there is today. Go watch a Chucky movie if you like that's Chucky it movies. Today? That's it. Wow. That's what a lame. It. Sorry, so, I don't really much care for the Chucky. If you are a fan <laughs> of the Chucky franchise, here's your day. Um, <clears throat> but Brittany and I don't give a fuck. I'm pretty sure if I had to go against a doll that's haunted, like I don't think I, I would. Think I would. I think I would. I win. would kick that doll's ass. Yeah, I think it'd be fine. <laughs> yeah, like it'd be like fighting a cat. Like just put it in a kennel. At worst. Mic. <laughs> I don't know. I've never seen the Chucky movies, so I'm sure somebody's gonna be like, furiously talking like, uh, 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 it had the soul of Satan in it. Yeah, I'll be like, I don't fucking care. Sa <laughs> I'll kick Satan's ass too. <laughs> Satan's a puss if he's being a doll. Like of all the things to pick, you picked a doll. Yeah. <clears throat> well, Brittany, this is perfect. This this mood that we have here for our next national day. Because today is National 
sourest day. Sourest? Yes. It is the most sourest. The sourest. So, if life is giving you lemons, or you feel like a grumpy Gus, sourest day is for you. Take your glass half full attitude and spread the joy or gloom. <laughs> Uh, and smiles be banished. Replace them with pouts and terrible frowns. <laughs> but, no, seriously, this is actually a day to just enjoy being a butt. I'm a butt, and there's nothing you can do about yeah, it. Yeah, so put on your biggest frown, and, you know, just kind of... <laughs> it's not that... But it's also, it's it's really weird because it's not meant to be as like a negative thing. It's mm -hmm. more just like the let show your ass. Just go ahead and show your ass. Let out that emotion. Uh-huh. And then sometimes you have to let out that emotion. You, no one's ever 100% happy. Yeah, I mean, there's always times where you feel like a brat. And yeah. And like, it's good to release that energy, I guess. Yeah. As long as so not. today's the day. Being terrible. Though. Don't be an asshole. <laughs> but you know what? Sometimes I'll just tell Brian, like, one, man, though. I'm in a bad mood today. Yeah, and then I'm just like, yeah, okay. <laughs> And I think being honest with your feelings is important. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, Brittany. I'm going to be honest with my feelings. Okay. This next National Day, I love it so much. Okay, let's hear it. Then. It is the last National Day for today. Wait, you, I thought you said that the Chucky thing was the only National Day. No. But you just listed more after that. I said it's the only Monster Day. Oh, okay. And then I lied about that, too, because there's another one a few <laughs> days from now. Okay. There's only one more, though. <laughs> Sorry, I interpreted that as the <clears throat> only, only day today. No, like, no. Wow, that's super lame. No, today <laughs> is National Greasy Foods Day. Greasy Foods Day. That's right. Although not the healthiest of choices, every once in a while, it's okay to enjoy some greasy food. From fried chicken, pizza, nachos, to french fries and bacon, hash browns, potatoes, we all like a treat in our regular diet uh excuse me that is my regular diet we just celebrated national like good food day uh-huh uh-huh so let's fuck it up today let's fuck it up <laughs> but yeah um i really uh i don't know what's your favorite what's your favorite like food that you shouldn't eat probably like pizza pizza well we eat that all the time i know we eat probably pizza eat like much. at least twice a week yeah we eat it too much <laughs> um, sometimes just once a week. It's rare, though. We eat a lot of pizza. That being said, it's you can It's our, also... like, go-to lazy food when we, like, don't feel like cooking or yeah. we don't feel like going out. We'll just get pizza. Because it's cheap. Most of the time, like, the pizza isn't great. No. And it's kind of like, well, this is wasted. <laughs> well, like, you can make a healthy pizza, though. But it's, like, $60. <laughs> Not if you make it at home. Yeah, have you ever bought ingredients for a pizza before? Don't make it, don't get ingredients like that. Just get like a cheese pizza. You can make a simple cheese pizza for pretty cheap. Okay. Like the most like temperamental part of that is like getting yeast to make the the dough. Well, that's not that much. No, the exactly. Not, actually not that much, but I just spent $7 on cheese last night. <laughs> yeah, we did. We did buy a lot of cheese bought, last night. We didn't even buy that much cheese. We bought one thing of cheese. Oh, yeah. You bought $7. a cheese. You got a cheese uh, ball. Yeah. So I don't know if that's a thing outside of the South. It probably is. Yeah, it is. Cheese ball. So, but... uh, Soft cheese spread, put it on a cracker. It's delicious. Right. Yeah, it's great. Everyone's had that. I'll hear nothing else. <laughs> I'll hear nothing else. <laughs> it's like 1 a.m. and I was like, let's get a cheese ball. Well, we were just hanging out <laughs> by, like, the cheese aisle. At the, we were at the fancy yeah, we, grocery store. We just store. went to the fancy grocery store and hung out last night. So yeah. <laughs> and I was just like, Brittany, they have eight different types of brie here. <laughs> and I was just like, I want to get this one, which was obviously the most expensive mm. one. It did look really good, it was though. It like $11. It was, like, <laughs> busting at the seams. <laughs> and it was only... It was just a slice of it, too. Yeah, it was just like It wasn't, like... $11. It wasn't, like, a wheel of it. I was like, mm, I'm already spending seven on this really... Like, yeah, yeah, not yeah. great cheese ball. But, yeah. Hagfish! God, that's, that's sticking with us for a while. Oh, <laughs> uh, man. But, yeah. Uh, I would have to say, for me, it's going to be fried chicken. Yeah, fried, fried chicken, chicken good. good old fried, like good fried chicken is great. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. it's, and even like shitty fried chicken is pretty darn good still. 
Okay, well, I'll change mine from pizza to say probably something along the same lines as pizza, but like mozzarella sticks. Mozzarella like sticks. Like fried mozzarella yes. sticks. That's not so great for you, and I love those. Oh, man. Fried mozzarella sticks are awesome. Yeah, pretty good. Or just like any sort of like fried cheese. <laughs> yeah, fried cheese is pretty fantastic no matter what. <laughs> So it's all in the same uh, vein as pizza. Yeah, especially not... how you dip it in that like marinara sauce. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Fuck. Yeah, or like ranch because <laughs> I'm a monster. We're gonna be eating like to fucking put... fried food right after like this, aren't we? Put... Oh no, I'm fine. I'm gonna go in there and eat some celery. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I did buy some celery at the store We did the other day. buy some celery. We're trying to eat healthy. I bought some nuts. And they're like, I don't think covered. that counts because they're... you got like sugary nuts. Yeah, I got like burnt sugar pecans. Yeah. They definitely do not count. Okay, nope. Neither one of these are anything we need. Nope. But yeah, so I was pretty excited about that. I'll tell you what else I'm excited about though, Brittany. What's that? Birthday! Birthdays! That's right. We're going to celebrate some birthdays today. And if it's your birthday today, Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Today we have got an eclectic mix of two people. Two famous people. Two whole people. Two whole peoples. Um, our first one is Katy Perry. Katy Perry. She turns 30. I'm a Katy Perry. She is. <laughs> she turns 34 years old today, born in 1984. The pop singer who gained fame in 2008 after releasing the hit I Kiss the Girl and her 2010 album Teenage Dream featured five songs that topped the U.S. Billboard Hot 100 charts, earning her the distinction of being the first female artist to achieve that feat. She ha was voted Woman of the Year by Billboard in 2012, and in 2018, she became a judge on American Idol. American Idol. I actually uh, really like Katy Perry a lot. Um, I haven't much cared for her most recent stuff, but Teenage Dream was awesome. Yeah. And I actually, I, I had like no expectations for her, but when I got to see her live right when she was getting famous, uh -huh. she had just released I Kissed the Girl mm -hmm. and she was on the Warp Tour. The Warp Tour. I know, right? It was really weird. I was like, of all the musicians to be... What in, are you doing, Brittany? I'm into not doing that. Don't you know do you know where you're standing? Well, I thought I was about to dig like right here. Guess not. Guess not. Sorry about that. Just killed some black lilies. <laughs> no. That was like one of the harder things to get, but okay. Well, it just popped up over here too because I'm supposed to just go in orange. Yeah. So, it'll be fun. Don't worry about it. But yeah, uh, she was pretty fun live. To yeah. I, I would like to see her more uh, more insane show that she has now, though. Yeah, is her show more insane now? Well, she does, like, uh, she has one song where she does, like, seven outfit changes. Yeah. I will say uh, her halftime show at the Super Bowl it was a awesome. years ago was probably one of my favorites. Um, um, I would say it's probably the best period the Mo best most recent one i guess well as far as like um yeah more recent i think like michael jackson is like the only one that probably top it for me though yeah i don't watch a whole lot of super bowl i've been able to we catch a few of them in the past but like i definitely was blown away by that performance and the missy elliott like, missy elliott was the best part was really awesome so Brittany legit said when i told her that Katy perry was performing <laughs> at the halftime show Brittany was like I don't give a shit unless it's Missy Elliott. I was being a sourist. <laughs> yes, you were. And you were like, I don't fucking give a shit unless Missy Elliott is playing. I do Elliot not care. So I was like, okay, that makes sense. I like Missy Elliott. Yeah, this room's not bad. It definitely needs some more plants in It needs there, more though. plants. So let's get some more plants. So I talked, uh, and me and Brittany, my mom is a big sports fan. So she was like, we went there, we watched the Super Bowl with my mom. And Missy Elliott comes out and yeah. Brittany loses her shit. I lost my mind. I was like, holy shit. Uh, it was awesome, too. Yeah, it was really awesome. But yeah, when, when Katy Perry came out and that giant mechanical lion, mm -hmm. that was awesome. Brittany, yeah, you're going to really cool. really hate the lineup for this year's Super Bowl. I haven't even heard anything about it. Oh, I didn't watch last year, I don't think. I forgot who was supposed to be last year's. Well, we didn't the year watch anything before last that year. was like um, the Carolina the, Panthers, so we were, we were like, yeah, 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 and yeah, they yeah. did like to so, so terrible. I was like, uh, Man. that I think uh, the whole year was that Coldplay and Beyonce. Yeah, Beyonce was okay. Yeah, Beyonce was my favorite part of it. Yeah, but Bruno Mars and Coldplay were like, meh. 
Yeah. Well, the problem too that I feel like is that they didn't. They told everyone who was going to be performing. There were yeah, no there's no surprises. So I just didn't care. Well, you're gonna hate this year's band. Who is it? Maroon Five. So I should specify that I love, love, love their first album, "Songs About Jane." I still listen to that album. Yeah. it's great. But they have not been making the mu- music that I like lately. Uh, it seems like every album, his voice gets higher and higher, and it just sounds to me like, um, like commercial jingles. Yeah, yeah. That sugar song, sugar. That to me sounds like some sort of like commercial jingle for real. Yeah. Um, I'm just double checking and seeing what kind of furniture I have. I don't have any more furniture that's okay. hidden away. So that's great. I've pretty much cleared it all out. But yeah, that is terrible news. Yeah, I didn't think you'd much care. I'm not, I don't <laughs> much, even I don't much care for it because you know they're going to play the more recent hits. Oh yeah, definitely. Well, that's more poppy. Mm-hmm. That's more like, what, they had more hits now, I think. Like the only song. They probably that... found more success in their like new sound. And yeah. some people like it and that's fine. But I really love their old stuff. They might, uh, they'll probably do pull a cold play and they'll allude to some of their older hits. Mm, yeah, they'll probably say a line or two. But like, like the cold play started with yellow mm-hmm. and it was like the, it was like, I want to say 15 seconds of it. Yeah. They'll probably do like not their harder rock stuff, like harder mm. to breathe. Harder to breathe is awesome. They'll probably do like yeah, the one the, where the this love or, uh-huh. or yeah, this love was a good one. That was a big hit. I doubt we'll do Sunday morning. <laughs> doubt it, because that's like a chill song. But yeah, I love their first album, "Songs About Jane." It's really good. It is good, really good. It's really good as an album too, as a whole. Well, Brittany, our next uh, our next uh, birthday is very very famous. It is Pablo Picasso. Pablo Picasso. Born in 1881. The 20th century painter and sculptor who co-founded the Cubist movement and co-invented several new uh, styles of art, including constructed sculpture, collage, and the plastic arts. And he died in 1973 at 92 years old. Fun fact, my favorite thing to ever... Uh, come out of Pablo Picasso was actually part of his death, and it was the song Picasso by um, by Paul McCartney and the Wings. Paul McCartney and the Wings. <laughs> yep, it's a really great song. That although if you've listened to any song off the Band on the Run album, every song on that album's awesome. Yeah. So you know, you know, you know, you know, you know. You know. But yeah, Brittany, uh, Picasso. You got any feelings about Picasso? Um. I think that his work is okay. Um, I think that he was an asshole in real yeah, life. Yeah, he was. <laughs> uh, that's pretty much it. I've seen some, like, Picassos uh, in Chicago. Yeah. When I went to uh, go visit. And they were pretty cool. Um, I respect that he, like, helped shape the artistic world. But honestly, like, that's probably, like, the saddest thing. Like, as you get older, you find out a lot of these people that were really great and innovative in their fields. Hey, they probably weren't such great people, like some of them. So it's kind of like, oh, that sucks. You know? But it happens. You know, it seems to be, um, this is not, of course, always the case, but it seems that people who achieve great things, or at least, like, strive to do, like things that Mm -hmm. are out of the ordinary they seem to have to be assholes yeah Uh, basically they they're they're the you know doesn't matter i gotta crack a few eggs to get this done Mm -hmm. kind of person you Mm -hmm. know what i'm saying now granted picasso has a lot more things under his belt that were had nothing to do with his art i would feel better if he was just like a general like asshole he was just mean everybody or something and maybe he was but he said some really shitty things like women can't be artists yeah they're only uh here to be beautiful um, for other, for like male artists to oh, yeah. recreate or whatever. Oh yeah, he was sexist as fuck. So he was pretty sexist, which was like, mm. mm-hmm. Well, I mean, he abused how many women in his life? He had like I a have wife no idea. and I think he had three different, um, like three different, um, I just forgot what the word, mistresses. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, so he was all over the place. Yeah, and I mean, 
I don't know what it is about like artists in general. It's like in order to have that sort of like weird creativity drive, a mm. lot of people are a little weird, you know, mm. like they have some issues, especially if you're looking mm-hmm, back at the mm-hmm, artist. Mm-hmm. I mean, like look at Frida Kahlo's husband, yeah, Diego yeah. Rivera. He cheated on her I don't know how many times. That's yeah. just like what he did on a daily basis. Yeah. Um, so it's just really prevalent out there. So, I'm just looking through real quick, looking Getting for plants. plants and anything There you else. go, Brittany. What? <laughs> the tree standy. There's <laughs> 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 a plant. <laughs> just put that in there. That is something for, like, stitches and peaches of mm-hmm. creepy rooms. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They're haunted rooms. Is that wheat field for you? Is that wheat field? I'm almost done, though. You're fine. I'm Zodiac Dog. All right. Well, we're good. <clears throat> we're good. We're well, good. we got one last birthday today, and that is Portia the Dog. If you got Portia the dog in your town, make sure to get her something modern and white. See, but nothing iconic. Don't get her anything iconic. See, we'll look at you (laughs) and throw you Chucky, throw Chucky right at your face. Oh God, I forgot about Chucky already. (laughs) I forgot about it. We're already back to it. Well, Well, I've ordered some furniture. We'll have some more stuff for our exotic room tomorrow. Nice. I might take some stuff down to the llamas. Okay. Mr. and Mrs. Llama. Mr. and Mrs. Llama. Mrs. <laughs> Cyrus. And see what I can get done. And I have a lot more plants to put in that room. So we'll work on that tomorrow. Perfect. Well, we'll see you guys tomorrow. And you guys have a wonderful day. Bye, everyone. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.